This tool is a Taylor anometer, also known as the velometer. This tool is used to find the CFM of an air vent in a home by measuring the velocity in feet. To start things off, let's look at every gauge and button on this meter and tell you what they do and when they're applied. This small gauge on the right measures the velocity per foot in the thousands. This is the hundreds and this big one going all the way around is the tens. It starts off in tens and this adds up by hundred, hundred, hundred until we hit a thousand and then there on and therefore. How you use this tool is you measure in five trials. and Each trial is a minute long. So you hold the back of this tool on the vent with the switch on for one minute. After that minute is up, you turn the switch off and that will shut this off, the gauges. The fans, however, will still spin. Don't be alarmed, it's not going to mess up the measurement. So after you get your five measurements, what you do is you add them all up and then find the average of your five trials and then you take that number and times it by the square footage of the vent that you're measuring for CFM. After you find that out, you div divide it by, you times the two by each other, and then divide it by the magic number 144. After you do that, that will get you your CFM. And that is how you use it, and we are going to move to a furnace and show you how it works. So we're at our furnace right now, and the furnace we're working on is an electric furnace. We're at the top of the plenum right now on a grill coming out. The size of the grill is 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So we hold the back of the meter on the grill, and we turned our switch on. And we're measuring right now the velocity per foot coming out of the vent. And what you do is you take a timer, and you time yourself for one minute. And after that minute is up, you take the switch on top, and you flip it off and your gauge will stop right there so you do that for five periods which would be five stop minutes and then you add up the number and get add up all five and get your average and then times that by the square footage of the grill and then divide it by 144 and that's how you get your CFM so we're going to do our five period trials here and then we're going to get back to you with the number we get Okay, so we're back with the numbers that we got. For minute one, we got 428 velocity per foot. Minute two, 456. Minute three, 450. Minute four, 480. Minute five, 342. Our average number on that is 431 velocity per foot. And our vent size was 12 and a half by 12 and a half. The average on that or the square footage is 156.25 squared feet. So we take 431 times 156.25 squared feet, divide that by 144, and we got 468 CFM. That is only the CFM for the grill that we were measuring. You can use this method to find any CFM number on any vent in your home. Thank you.